Hi, welcome to the first of hopefully many Wolf Den field reviews. Get it? Because we're in a field, right? All right, all right, all right, moving along. Sitting in this box here, I have a Vortex Razor HD Gen 3, 6 to 36 by 56 in MRAD. We're going to pop the box on this bad boy in just a second. I'm gonna cover some of the more practical aspects of this scope. But firstly, I do have to disclose that Vortex did send me this scope to review and Wolf Den is affiliated with Vortex Optics. Anyway, without any further ado, let's uh, pop the lid on this bad boy and get a look at what's inside. All right, the first thing you tend to notice is the packaging is pretty clean as standard with a lot of uh, Vortex optics. Let's uh, pop this bad boy and see where we're at. So we can see here it comes with a sunray shade and plastic caps on the end here. Now, as you pick this scope up, the first thing we notice is the weight. This scope is actually a little bit lighter than the Razer Gen 2. 4.5 by 227 by 56, although it is a little bit longer. So Vortex has done a really good job with this scope in my opinion. Now the next thing I'd like to point out is just how uh, nice the magnification ring slides and moves. Now this is uh, a little bit more smooth compared to the Razer Gen 2 where uh, some of that is sometimes that magnification ring can be a little bit more stiff, but you can see just uh, how easily I'm able to move that magnification ring back and forth. It's a really nice feature there. And like the Gen 2, the turrets are push-pull uh, with the locking system that you'd be familiar with, with the uh, Gen 2 as well. The variation here is the tactile click and the way that the elevation turret adjusts it's it's got a unique feel to it compared to the gen 2 it feels even cleaner if that was even possible so i'm really really impressed with uh, with the work that vortex put into the turret itself and if i go ahead and rotate through a few different revs here you can see that the indicator for multiple rotations is starting to come out and that'll continue to protrude as I continue through the revolutions here on the turret. And you get the feel as you rotate this through that it's a very precise and well machined uh, threading system and uh, turret that uh, Vortex have been, uh, been able to manufacture here. Now you'll also notice that there is a zero stop built in and that zero stop is 0 0.5 mils below the zero there. Now the other unique thing about the, uh, the turrets and especially the parallax itself is the parallax on the Razer Gen 3 6036 here goes down to 10 yards and then obviously up to infinity. The other thing you'll notice is like the Gen 2, the Razer has the illumination uh, feature on the left-hand side uh, indexing into the parallax turret. That's uh, again a nice feature. Uh, the next thing you need to note is the turrets and more specifically how you would go ahead and zero this scope. So unlike the Razer Gen 2 where you would have to take the top turret cap off to access the inner screw to adjust zero, the adjustment mechanism is open and so what that allows the user to achieve is to loosen off this turret locking screw here and there's only one unlike uh, previous models and then you can make adjustments to your zero by accessing the top of the turret or the side of the windage turret without having to remove that cap. So that's a nice feature there. And then uh, simply just locking the turret retaining screw again once you've completed that zero process. Now, the next thing we need to discuss as we're going into some slight low light conditions is the objective lens. The objective lens size here is 56. Now, there is a slight advantage or a potential slight advantage there if you're ever in a scenario where you may be required to engage targets in low light conditions such as dawn or dusk without uh, night vision capability. Now, if we were to utilize our exit pupil to our advantage there, the magnification required or the ideal magnification 
would be around to eight times magnification. Obviously understanding that there's some slight variation or discrepancy in there for the individual shooter's age and individual eyes. But that's just another thing to note and understand if you are in a low light dawn dusk engagement scenario, rolling the magnification on this scope around to eight times might benefit you to maximize the image or target picture there. So having taken a uh, quick look at our first impressions of the Vortex Razor HD Gen 3 6 to 36 by 56, I'm uh, pretty impressed with this guy. I think that Vortex has done an exceptional job to offer a uh, scope on the market that has an extreme amount of versatility and flexibility for a range of different uh, shooting applications and shooting objectives. And I think uh, I already know which rifle I'm gonna put this on. I think that the uh, some of the more advanced features of the scope and uh, in particular the new addition and design of the zeroing feature within the turret is really nice, really slick indeed. So certainly consider this guy next time you're looking for a new rifle scope. So thanks very much for watching. Until the next Wolf Den Field Review, make sure you go and uh, follow us on Instagram. Facebook or LinkedIn under Wolf Den USA or visit our website where you can also find a blog there at wolfdenusa.com. It's been a pleasure and I'll catch you next time.